I'm a little upset. This email Viren Shaw received from the U.S. Secretary of Education at the end of last year, stating he was eligible for student loan relief, now means nothing. Though it wouldn't wipe away completely my debt, it would have still made a significant impact. Today, the Supreme Court struck down the Biden administration's student loan debt forgiveness program. The program would have canceled up to $20,000 in federal student loans for millions of Americans. The president says the burden is especially heavy on black and brown borrowers who on average have less family wealth to pay for it. Shah has about six figures in student loan debt. A loan that could be very simple, but with the interest that accumulates, it grows to be something that feels like you'll never be able to pay it back. If you took out the debt, it's a debt. It has to be paid back, and it's not anybody else's place to pay it back for you. Sherry Mostyn graduated from Fayetteville State University in 2001, racking up more than 20 grand in student loans. She went on to become an educator. On a very small salary, I still had to pay back my debt, of which I did. Um, because it was my debt. Experts say student loan debt can keep borrowers from achieving financial freedom and building wealth. And about $100,000 worth of student debt is $100,000 you now cannot afford in your mortgage payment. So it hinders people greatly. Okay, and this all come, comes as the student loan pause put in place during the COVID-19 pandemic comes to an end. Those payments are set to resume in October. We're live in Raleigh, Akilah Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.